Hello everyone. In today's video, I will give an overview of uh, what is uh, cloud app security and how it works. And this is a uh, part one of uh, cloud app security videos. In coming videos, I will show you demo on some of the features of uh, cloud app security. In this video, I will just uh, walk you through the portal and show some use cases. There are three different uh, versions of Microsoft uh, cloud app security solutions. Office 365 Cloud App Security, Azure AD Cloud App Security, and the Cloud App Security. Depending on the licenses you have, you could either use uh, O365 Cloud App Security or Azure AD Cloud App Security or both of them. Or you can use Cloud App Security, which includes all the features of O365 and Azure AD Cloud App Security. Obviously, Cloud App Security requires a license which is of a higher cost. So Microsoft E5 license includes Cloud App Security. So Cloud App Security is the complete solution about which we will talk uh, in this video. So let me show you how to access the portal of it first of all. The URL to access the portal is uh, portal.cloudappsecurity.com and this is the portal of Cloud App Security. Cloud has introduced many challenges for the organizations. So organizations uh, do not know that uh, what cloud resources are being consumed by their users and are those resources compliant or not. So organizations need to protect their data which is uh, interacting with these cloud resources. So they can block upload and download from those cloud app resources or block certain user actions on those uh, cloud apps or resources. So Microsoft Cloud App Security it acts as a broker between your organization users and cloud resources. So it basically scans your organization traffic and how it does that, uh, we will see that in the next slide. So you upload your firewall logs to it. You can either do it manually or have it uh, set up to send the logs automatically to Cloud App Security. And Cloud App Security scans those logs against a catalog, catalog of 16,000 apps it has. Once uh, Cloud App Security scans the logs, you can see the report and see what all applications are being accessed by users in your organization and you can take action on them. So here in the Cloud App Portal, if I go under this icon and click on Log Collectors and Automatic Log Upload, from here we can add the data sources and upload the log. So it gives us a, a list of different firewall vendors which we can select and select the receiver type and define the log collection. We can also deploy a machine called Log Collector Machine and it can act as a proxy between the firewall and the Cloud App Security and send the log. So we can define that from here. In Cloud App Security, we can also connect uh, different apps using the APIs provided by those app vendors. And depending on what is exposed through those APIs, we can do user activity audit, uh, we can do a data loss uh, prevention scan and many other activities depending on what is exposed. In the Cloud App Security Portal, if I go under Investigate and go to Connected Apps, here Office 365 is already connected, but if I click on the plus sign here, I can see what other apps are available for which APIs have been exposed, and I can add them here. For each app, Cloud App Security gives us a risk assessment information with the regulatory, legal and compliance information with it, whether it meets those uh, industry standards or not. In the portal under Discover section, we go to Cloud App Catalog. So here we can see the list of uh, 16,000 apps which are there and here is the score next to them. So let me search one of them for you. So I have searched for Adobe apps and let us see this uh, Adobe Photoshop. And here is the score for it. And we see HTTP security header, it's uh, partially met. And these are the industry standards which it meets. 
if I see Adobe Marketing Cloud and see its information under compliance, it doesn't meet uh, safe harbor. And under legal, under GDPR user ownership, it only meets partial. We can allow or block these apps. So if I see here, we can mark them as sanctioned or unsanctioned uh, apps. We can also control the data transfer to and from these uh, apps and apply data loss prevention policies. For that, we will go under policies here and we will create a new policy and the policy type would be file policy. So using file policy, we have various templates and we can apply data loss prevention policies to it. So these are the templates where file shared with an unauthorized domain, externally shared source code. So this is personal identified information if it's detected file shared with the personal email address. So using these templates, we can scan the data and apply the policies. We can also use uh, different templates to detect uh, strange behavior such as uh, impossible travel, large downloads, uh, deletion of many resources in Azure, AWS, uh, Google Cloud. So that could be your VM. So if a user is deleting many VMs, then we can use those templates and detect those strange behaviors. And there are other many more threats which we can detect using those templates. So if I go under control and go under templates, here we can see many inbuilt templates like file shared with the unauthorized domain. We can see the template types as well. So for example, this is activity policy template type. So we can define a policy here based on this template where mass download by a single user is done. So we see that we can set an, send an alert as emails and alert as text message and what all governance action we can do. We can suspend user, we can require user to sign in again on Office 365 for all other apps. We can notify users, suspend users. So these kind of things uh, we can do with the template. We can have multiple failed user logon attempts to an app. So this was an activity policy. We can have it for file policy, which we already saw for DLP. We can have it for access policy. So we will do other videos for these features. But this was just an overview of uh, how to use policy and templates. Another important uh, usage of uh, cloud app security is conditional access app control. So we define conditional access uh, to govern and audit our actions in real time in web apps based on a policy. So we can block downloads or apply DLP policies. We can block uploads. We can prevent cut, copy, print. We can monitor user activities using conditional access. So we define conditional access policies in conditional access portal and we use cloud app security to define those actions. For example, we can block cut copy from teams so that we can do using conditional access and cloud app security. So not all web apps are supported by this. So I will show you what apps are support, supported in a video and we will do a demo of it for in part two of this video. Apart from integrating with firewalls, which we earlier saw how to collect the logs, the cloud app security also integrates with Defender for endpoint through which we can block those apps, we can upload the, gather the usage logs from those Windows 10 machines. It also integrates with Azure ATP, Azure AD Identity Protection and Azure Security Center. At the start of the video, we saw that we have three different uh, solutions. So cloud app security being the most uh, full-fledged. With Office 365 uh, cloud app security, it's a subset of cloud app security only supports uh, discovery of around 750 cloud apps with similar functionality and it only supports manual logs upload from firewall it does not support automatic log upload it also provides uh, dlp threat detection and conditional access app control azure ad cloud app security is included with the p1 license for free so it is based on cloud app security discovery feature of cloud app usage. So it only supports the discovery feature of what cloud apps are being used. It does not provide information protection or threat detection. So, so if we want to use all the features, we have to go with cloud app security.
so this was a small video on uh, cloud app security and what all features it has I, I will make more videos on it where we will do the demo of uh, different features i hope you like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye